In this video right here, earlier this year, I showed you that the Roman papacy had created the modern Anno Domini calendar to hide the Phoenix timeline and altered historical records to cover up the massive destructive reset of 522 AD. The link to that video is in the description box if you want to go back and, and listen to it. Now, I'm going to show you proof that in this video, that the Roman papacy is well aware of the return of the phoenix and its date of 2040. I'm going to show you that cathedrals are prophecies in stone and that the Vatican has long known about the 138 year timeline of the phoenix. The origin of Freemasonry is by the order claimed to have derived from ancient Egypt. Now, I don't know if that's true, but their oldest records do a sort. I have read the Wood Manuscript. I've also read the Inigo Jones document. These are very old uh, 18th century documents uh, in Freemasonry. Now, uh, they mention Enoch and the Pyramid and, and Abraham, and they're very interesting. But, excuse me, in... Uh, in Egypt, at the city of Heliopolis, Lower Egypt, was the mansion of the Phoenix, where the Ben Ben stone was kept, which looks like a little pyramid. Now, a pyramidion. It's a small replica of both concepts of the pyramid and the capstone. The Ben Ben was associated to the Bennu bird, which you know of as the Phoenix. It was linked to the sun and to destruction, to cycles of rebirth. In the degrees of Freemasonry, the phoenix is the symbol for the 33rd degree. In fact, it was Freemasons that established the great seal of the United States of America to be on one side the Great Pyramid and on the other side the phoenix. From 1782 and on for uh, the next 120 years until 1902, the great seal was of the phoenix, but in 1902 it was quietly changed to the eagle. Now, interestingly, that was that was 120 years of being the phoenix, then it was changed to the eagle. This year of 2022, when I'm revealing this to you, is the 120th year since it was changed from the phoenix to eagle. The central theme of the phoenix was of destruction that had become necessary, a purge that cleansed the world then initiated a new start upon the ashes of the old. That's the phoenix symbolism. This theme holds true with the Great Fire of London in 1666, when the city and the old cathedral were burnt and ruined. You have to understand, it was the fourth church that was already there. It's very old. The records go back to 604 AD in the city of Londonum, that there was always a temple, church, or cathedral standing there. The ruin of the city initiated a massive rebuilding campaign. One of the new projects was to build a new cathedral on the grounds of the old one. Nine years after the Great Fire, the huge undertaking to build what we know of today as St. Paul's Cathedral in London, which is still standing today. It was built principally by the architect Sir Christopher Wren. Now, um... Uh, it's, it's the very first structure of its kind in London or England that had a dome. So, when the builders were gathering materials and laying out the lines, the measurements for, for the deal, the architects uh, and the builders, one of the workers dropped a piece of an old gravestone that was found. I mean, they, they, they often used, uh, uh, in their building materials, they often used prior pieces to earlier structures. So, a piece fell down and... Sir Christopher Wren noticed there was writing on it, had it cleaned off, and saw the words, I think it's a, 
resurgum, which is a Latin word, and he knew that it meant, I will rise again. It was an old gravestone. So, excuse me. We are told that this is why the phoenix relief is found so prominently on the cathedral. I believe that's a cover story. I'm going to show you why. <clears throat> in St. Paul's Cathedral in London, was it was begun in 1675. And the structure, when it was finished, was 365 feet high. That's huge. The cathedral took 35 years to build and was finished in the year 1710. Thus, the completion of the famous cathedral was 330 years, 33 times 10, to the year 2040 A.D. The return of the phoenix and the destruction of the building and London by extension. Remember, in prior videos I show you, Nostradamus' codified prophecies show that London and New York are destroyed together and it will be in the year 2040. 33 is the number associated over and over to the Freemasons uh, and basically their knowledge of the Phoenix and the structuring of mechanical time. The association of time as being uh, basically a dimensional architecture, a product of the grand architect. This 2040 dating of the cathedral is further seen in that the structure was, was built to 365 feet in height. And 365 years after its beginning, when the ground was broken for the project in its first year of construction in 1675, which can be verified by anybody, 365 years exactly after 1675 is the year 2040. Now, Wikipedia cites its height at 364 feet. It's one, it's one foot off. London-based websites that describe the, the, the cathedral say that it's closer to 366 feet, although it's 365 feet. So it's 365 feet and some inches. <coughs> and we know 365 feet was the intended height of the architects because it's the number of days in the year, and it's also the number of the great architect known in Freemasonry, Enoch. Remember, guys, I've shown you videos where ancient traditions associate Enoch as being the builder of the Great Pyramids, built during the vapor canopy, when Enoch lived. Thus, St. Paul's Cathedral prophetically dates its own destruction in the year of the Phoenix, 2040 AD, as seen in, the, in this chart right here. 2040. You guys know it, especially my archaic veterans. I've already beat you up with this over and over and over and over. 2040, month of May, May 15th, May 16th, depending upon what hemisphere you live on, is the destruction caused by Phoenix. Now, proof that the structure is a countdown to its own destruction by the Phoenix is found in that the southern facade of the cathedral shows everyone this sculpture right here. I'm going to let you look at that real close. Jason Brashears didn't make this up. St. Paul's Cathedral in London. These are the dates. This is the measurements. This is the picture that's shown prominently on the wall of the southern entrance. You just can't make this stuff up. It's the Phoenix. That 1710 was intended completion date of St. Paul's Cathedral was found in that it is precisely 396 years before the year 2106 AD. Again, my archaics veterans, you all know that date. It is the year 6000. No, the world is not 6000 years old, but a calendar did begin 5916 years ago. The Annus Mundi calendar, the Phoenix timeline. So, and it, and it was started from a great reset, the new heavens and the new earth, better known as the Edenic story of the fall of man. So, anyway, this year, 2106, is on the Nemesis X timeline every 792 years. Remember, guys, I show you this chart. Look at this chart right here. Nemesis X object has a very unusual movement. It is away from our world for 732 years. But when it comes back, it's here for 60 years and the year it appears and the year it departs is always something major in world history the year it appears in the near future is 2046 the year it starts departing and leaving us is 2106 
Now, I'll let you decide what all that means, but here's the chart. Totally independent data set here that lines up with this St. Paul's Cathedral uh, <coughs> excuse me, finish date of 396 years, which is exactly half of 792 years, the Nemesis X timeline. It's all very, very compelling. So, remember, with the Great Pyramid itself, is also it's also one of these chronometrical prophecies. Remember all the individual courses. Look at this picture. All the individual courses starting in 1902, the key Phoenix year, all the individual courses count 203 courses all the way up to the very end of the pyramid, which is the flat top. It's the end because it's missing a capstone. The stone the builders rejected, it's not there. Not yet. But those 203 courses are 203 years from 1902, the end of the cursed earth calendar. 1902 plus 203 is 5,998 Mundi. It is the year 2105 of our calendar, Anno Domini. One year is missing. One element of the Great Pyramid timeline is missing. In 2106, the return of the chief cornerstone completes the Monument of Man. And that's what all these calendars are pointing to. Now, chronotexture is real. It's a real phenomenon. I've, I've demonstrated it many times. I have shown that the ultimate symbol embodying the concept of time in this technosphere of holography is the Great Pyramid itself, the highest symbol of the Grand Architect. I have likewise proven my case that, the, look at this chart, the scientific measurements done to a thousandth of an inch of the rectilinear dimensions of the Great Pyramid show this 138-year patterning all throughout the monument. So, it should come as no surprise that the Cathedral Church of St. Paul in the city of Boston in the United States is located at 138 Tremont Street in Boston. The address of the church in Boston, 138. Now, it was built in 1819. Both cities of St. Paul's cathedrals, London and Boston, are known for having suffered through great fires. In 1882, the gigantic Paul's Bell weighing 32,000 pounds, was installed into the Cathedral of St. Paul's in London. This was the 207th year since the founding in 1675 of the Cathedral. 207 is half of 414, a cursed earth period, which is a Phoenix timeline. I've showed you videos on that, especially my last video. My chart video was all about the cursed earth system. 414 is 138 times 3. So, in the, in the Phoenix year of 1902, the Church of the Immaculate Conception was founded in the city of Phoenix, Arizona, in 1902. It would receive recognition and become St. Mary's Basilica. The founding of a church in this year at the location of a city called Phoenix is no coincidence. As I've revealed in my 50 videos on the Phoenix Phenomenon in history, all, of, all, all of the articles I, I posted on Facebook, my published books, the Phoenix was known to the ancients. It was covered up by the Roman papacy. It is known by the elite, and it is the reason why there are so many innumerable narratives that are being pushed all over YouTube, social media, all the news agencies, everywhere in the world. Narratives are being pushed and financed just to keep you busy, just to keep you distracted. Because large preparations are, on, are ongoing right now, and they're all going on below us. All the links are below for all my Phoenix-related data. All my books, all, all the playlists, and uh, all my chart packs for anything related to the Phoenix is in the description box and in the pinned comment. There is an object hidden in the sky. It has been here many times. In ancient times, it was known as the Phoenix. It is approaching perihelion. It is located at 23.5 degrees north of the ecliptic and is presently in descending mode. On May 15, 2040, it will return. On May 16th, our world will be a very different place.